like Ching Chong, like I'm gonna kill you, you stupid blank, 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 blank. And I'm like, is she the type of crazy whack? But I want to make this video to talk about a super racist moment and it happened in this work environment. Because the thing is, when you work in these dead-end jobs to get by, you're not, not to sound completely condescending, but there's certain individuals that you work with that don't have the most highest intellectual and emotional IQ. And this was in 2017 in Vancouver, a super racist moment that happened to me and for someone to be completely ignorant and on top of that racist and threatening I had to make a video about it so what this job essentially entails is you packing a lot of you know food you cutting chopping and repackaging food and it's pretty much like a factory job for eight hours a day and when I first got this job, I noticed that there was this girl and she happened to be white and I'm not racist. And she had this little hothead, sort of like hot tempered type of personality. You would see her doing her job, packaging, cutting, doing whatever, and suddenly start swearing to herself. Like she had Tourette's. And me, being like the fly on the wall that I am, I like to observe people's reactions and how, you know, the vibe that they give off. Because I'm all about positivity and your vibe attracting other people's like-minded vibes. And I would hear her weird random stories of like, Huh, you know one night I was down like, um, commercial drive and I got so drunk and I took home all the guys and, you know, I got so drunk and I've done these like several times. So, one day, I was partnered with someone who was of immigrant, Asian immigrant descent. And she didn't have the most best English skills, right? But me having Asian immigrant parents, I am super patient and understanding when it comes to pulling from both perspectives. So if anything, I could understand. And we were assigned to this task to package this one item, right? Which also required you to use this other machine. But guess who was using it at the time? Out of all people, it was this crazy girl. My partner goes over there and asks her if they were done using this machine. And you know, her English might not be the best, and um, she might have taken it the wrong way. And pretty much what she said to my partner was that, oh, you know, we're using it right now. So she goes back to me. And then I asked how long are they gonna take? So she, my partner goes back to her and asks them, and I thought there was like some kind of miscommunication. So I walk over there while she's using the machine. I was like, hey guys, um, how long are you guys gonna take? Cause you know, we have a lot of things that we gotta package too. And um, it's gonna be a long time and I'm, we're probably gonna hog the machine. But I'm guessing she didn't know me because I'm pretty much of a jokester and super exaggerative, which was my fault. But then she talks to me and she, well, pretty much yells to me. Why are you being so hostile? So pretty much both of these girls yelling at me, why are you being so hostile? But the ironic thing is they're the ones that are like coming at me and I'm like, I literally said, whoa, okay. I'm like the most chillest guy here, so I don't know what's going on, okay? You guys can use the machine. I'm just gonna go over here with my partner and we're gonna figure out something else to do. Eventually happens, we figure out and find out another task, right? And I eventually walk around the corner so I can like wash my hands. And then, you know, I see her staring at me and she's like, she just goes off. Like something in her head just like snaps and she's like, why are you there when you're pregnant? You're over there, you're standing there and doing nothing. You're going to do do That's literally what, what she's trying to like mock me. And then, you know, I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, turn around, wash my hands. And I hear her say some racist ass stuff under her breath. Like ching chong, like I'm gonna kill you, you stupid blank, 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 blank. And I'm like, is she the type of crazy wacko person that has the audacity to try to mumble, but mumble so loud that I can hear it. So then she in a way passively, like aggressively tries to get at me. And in my head, 
there are two options that I could do in this super racist and threatening moment from a male perspective. Number one, I could go Hulk smash and call her out because, you know, she's cray cray and racist and I don't have the patience for that, right? I could just been like, come at me, bruh. Is that all you got? But that would have ended up to a much of a happy story. And number two, the more adult and responsible decision when it comes to these kind of weird work related environments is you go talk to someone of higher power so they can be the mediator. Cause me being old as I am now, well, not sort of all old, but like 24, I've learned that, you know, when you have someone of that kind of mental capacity and they try to take it up to here in terms of like their anger, all they're gonna do is try to bring you up to there. And I'm not going zero to 100, right? She might be, but I'm like zero to five in this situation. So what I do is I go over there, talk to my supervisor, and he eventually talks to all both of us one-on-one. -on -one. And funny thing is, this ain't the first time that it happened, right? This is the, her second time, and the first time she had a warning. And the thing is, you might think that I'm exaggerating about this story, but it's happened before, as from my own experience from talking to a coworker with this specific individual. And what eventually happened was that she does not work on the days that I work anymore. And, but the thing is, there's her friend her friend, you know, flock, birds of a feather flock together. And every time I see her now, she, I'm not the type of person to hold grudges, right? If, if you hate me, then yeah, whatever. But at the end of the day, we're coworkers. And every morning, you know, I see her, I'm like, hey, good morning. And she just goes, and kind of like, kind of like plays with who, like, it's just some really petty stuff, right? But the thing is, when I talked to my coworker about this specific individual, the thing is, we bonded on the fact that she was crazy. And she, you know, called my coworker, who I got along with, racist things like a towel head because she wore a scarf around her head. And racist stuff like, I wanted to kill this bleep, 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 bleep. And just because, you know, something in this girl's mind and how she is, in a way, I kind of feel sorry for her, right? There's races of people like this in 2017 in Vancouver against Asians, and it's like, you ha you don't understand the fact that one, you know, you have to be patient, especially if someone that doesn't speak English that well, right? Including me. And two, you never want to take anything so personally from zero to 100 within a work environment. And number three, you racist ass son of a person. Who raised you? So that's one of the things that I have to deal with, right? When I work dead on jobs so I can support what I love doing is making videos, I, is that I have to work these kind of jobs. But at the same time, it makes me super humble and I get to work with some cool people, believe it or not. And I'll make that video another time. But when it comes to dealing with negativity, whether that's, you know, face to face online, I like to quote and end this video with a Casey Neistat quote. And he says something along the lines of, their punishment is their life. And just sit with that for a moment, you know. Their negativity, their lifestyle that they live, and the little bubble that their brain is and thinks that the whole world revolves around them, you know, that's their punishment, right? I'm all about positivity. I'm all about growing as a person and respecting one another. You don't have to like me. I don't have to like you. But at the end of the day, you know, we work together. And that's something that you learn in kindergarten, you know, when you play tag and stuff. But some people never learn. And her punishment is her entire life. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces.